All right, uh, we have the game against... Uh... Against Grandmaster Forintors from Hungary. We played this game uh, uh, during the very important tournament from Monte Carlo in 68. It was the same tournament where I had my uh, first and last meeting, the only meeting against the Grandmaster Bodvinik. I mean, uh, we met only once there, you know. Our game was uh, very... Very nice draw, I mean, very tactical draw. And against uh, Forintos, he was in that time the Hungarian champion and he was a very good player, of course, very strong player. And he tried again their Hungarian variation with Queen B6, like Portish, you know, the same idea. No? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. again, it happened a very beautiful game. We'll see. And he... Yeah, now I played uh, D4. He took in D4, of course. Knight X and again Queen B6, the, the Hungarian uh, variation. Yeah. Knight B3, Knight F6, Knight C3, E6, Bishop E3, Bishop, Queen C3. And now I think I played immediately Bishop D3 or F4. What did I play? D3. Bishop D3, yeah. The difference between this game and the game against Portish is that in our game with Portish, I played first A3. I yes. didn't allow bishop before. You know? Exactly. But this is possible also. Bishop d3 is very good also, you know. So I not... played uh, against Portish a3 by respect, I mean, because I consider Portish a very strong player and took some, uh, you know, measures against some counterplay, you know. But here I allowed bishop before. Okay, after bishop before castle, you know. And now castle already big mistake for black, you know. He had to take back in c3. If he takes in c3, we have another game. Mm -hmm. It's possible to play, but at least he had a hope because uh, white uh, has a, you know, not such a good uh, pawn structure. If he takes, he has time to take first in c3. Mm -hmm. He had to take first in c3 and only afterwards castle. But now the difference is very big. We'll see because because of this, he loses a little bit of time and white becomes very quickly attacking chances on the other side against the king. Yeah. Okay. Knight b5 is a very important move. Now has to move back the queen. And okay, from now on, everything is almost forced. You'll see. So f4. You try to attack immediately with d5. If, if we have time to push e5, it's finished. You know, tactically, the game is already lost for black. You know? Because you block the center and I you block open the center the and I have attacking chances with all my pieces on the other side against and, the king. You and know? you kick yeah. away the, yes. the defender, the knight yeah, from right. six. No. And now the difference is you see that we have the knight in d4. We don't have any weakness on c3, the pawns and so on. He has the bishop in b4. The bishop, the bishop in b4 is much too far away. Yes. Hey, he's a spectator in this kind of position. And the knight from d4 continue to have a good line by attacking the, the king from g8 later on, you see. Yeah. Okay. The game is already very difficult for black, if not lost already, you know. So he has to move back the bishop because he didn't have time to play g uh, d6 or something, we have immediate attacking chances against the king. Even maybe we could even take in a, in a f7, uh, in f6, and then queen g4 check and hit queen h, h4, and uh, the position is finished for black, you know. If he if he played instead of bishop e7, d6. Okay, yes. bishop e7. And now from now on, white has to attack quickly, and we'll see if it's already winning or not. I mean, Okay, yeah. it's winning. The position is winning, but you have to show it how. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, e5, knight e8, forced. Again, we threatening mate immediately. No? So g6, queen h6. Yeah. Okay. And f5. That was the black's hope. Maybe he can survive somehow, but it's already too too late. We open, of course, we open the line. We could play also rook f3 quietly and so on, much better for white, but we don't win very quickly with rook f3 because you can't mate the king. You know? Because he can bring the... Yeah, we want to, to bring every piece in attack because for the moment he has two pieces that don't play, the queen from b8 and the rook from a8. You know, they are far away. Yes. And we continue our attack on this side. So bishop yeah. takes f6 and now on, we play, we open again the, the position. We play f5 quickly. Yeah? 
if he, he has no time to take with the e pawn because he loses immediately after bishop c4 check. Bishop c4. If he takes with e pawn in f5, yes, bishop c4 check and resigns immediately. King hedge eight is made and he plays himself rook f7. Yes. After rook e1 and uh, the mate is already threatened in e8. We win at least the exchange, but the, to win the exchange is, uh, you know, very small advantage for white. I mean, we continue to try to give mate, you know. Okay. Yeah. So the, the, the variation is forced, you see. Now, after g takes f5, rook takes f5, sacrifice, whatever. Because now again, if he takes in f5, rook, bishop c4 check wins. The same idea, you know. The same idea. Yeah. Oh, so this diagonal. Now, if he takes decisive check in c4, wins immediately. So therefore, the game is forced. I mean, he has to play like in our game. I mean, he takes there, we took, and now he took in f5. Finally, in this position, he's rook up, but he's completely lost. Yeah. Bishop c5, the only move, d5, to open a little bit the bishop, you know, to, to have the possibility to sacrifice the bishop later on, you know. In defense, check, rook of seven, and now the last piece comes into attack. You now, bishop, rook e1. It's winning, but you have to see how how you win. Yeah. Knight g7, rook e7. Okay. It seems black can resign already. Yes. Yeah. But he continued because he has a small trap. He hopes to, you know, that uh, somehow. White comes, uh, I mean, plays too quickly and gives a good chance to, to have some counterplay. Which so bishop e6, okay, the only move, bishop e6, yeah, okay. You take, he takes, queen takes, of course, no? Don't now we, we have only exchange, less, but the attack continues, you know. White continues, he's already made. For, I mean, it threatens mate. The yeah. only move to you know to defend is queen of eight, of course. No? Yes. Queen of eight. Now, knight takes f five, and now the last hope. What did he play in the game? In the game, uh, rook d eight. Okay. Yes. Which is the last hope now? If if you take like in our game, for instance, uh, rook takes f seven. It seems. To win immediately, no? Yes, because but we have a check. But there comes after rook takes f7, rook d1 check, you know, in the meantime. Oh, yes. And after king f2, it's possible to play uh, queen takes f7 and black wins because the king is pinned. Okay, so after this one. And queen, queen takes, takes, and it's not possible anymore to give check there because yes. the king is pinned. And now here, black yeah. wins, you know. Yeah. So that was so the trap. That was the trap. And now you have to play, you know, the normal move, you see. And here white wins immediately. No, no here. No, he played uh, rook uh, rook d8, no? Yes. Now after rook d8, I played queen takes f7 check, no? Yes. Queen takes f7, that's his force, you know. Now yes. you have to take, and you have time to give check in, in h6 and win. Win at least a piece, you know. Now it's finished again. Yeah. Has to come with king g7 or something. And after king g7, knight takes f7, piece up and completely win for white. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now you lose the pawn from there, you know, piece up and okay, finished. The game was very beautiful. Finally, he tried to defend, uh, you know, with best moves, but it was much too late. Because the initiative and the final attack was much too strong. Too strong and too quick. Too quick, yeah, yes. immediately, you know, very violent like this. And uh, as always in Sicilian, I told you, you know, if white has a, such a position and has a little bit of time to attack, it's decisive. You know? As always, you don't have time to defend. It's much, so for, much too strong that attack. For, for black to have a real chance, have to... First of all, to be very cautious. Yes, he has to, you know, to survive the first 20, 25 moves, okay? Mm -hmm. Jokingly, mm -hmm. like this. If you survive the 25 moves in Sicilia, it's all right, you know. Later on, the, <laughs> the game, you know, you have maybe a good game later on. But the first moves are always very dangerous in Sicilian you know, for black. You have to be very, very careful. 
and now even now with the computers is the same in the same uh, weight of playing now is even more dangerous because we have analysis home analysis with the computer maybe 30 40 moves like this and uh, then it's too late yes. to react yeah. okay another beauty price even this was beauty price okay. nice yeah all right great yeah. thank you mr you're welcome